Well, this case involving the former Deputy Senate President Ike Ikweramadu is incredibly fast-moving and complex in its nature. Now, just about 24 hours ago, we were under the assumption that he wasn't to appear in front of Uxbridge Magistrates Court until next week, Thursday, the 7th of July, but appears as if some diplomatic pressure may have been added to the British courts. And then I received a tip-off very late last night that he would indeed be appearing hearing this morning. Um, I was at court uh, when the senator did appear in the dock and he appeared um, incredibly well given the circumstances. Uh, there was a large delegation from the Nigeria High Commission in attendance as well as what I believe uh, were his two adult sons. His wife Beatrice did not appear alongside him and even though her defence um, asked for the court to allow her to attend, um, they did say that the matter would proceed without her. What the prosecution outlined is that a 15-year-old boy a couple of months ago was picked up uh, from the streets in Lagos uh, for the purpose of organ harvesting. An official document was put into the British High Commission in Nigeria and a visa was granted. Now, uh, suspicions were raised when this alleged child was consulting with uh, doctors at the Royal Free Hospital. They weren't uh, certain that he was telling the truth about his age and whether or not he consented uh, to this organ donation. Um, he then fled the Equerimadu residence and after three days of sleeping on the streets of London. Um, he handed himself into the Metropolitan Police and it was from that discussion with the police that a warrant was put out uh, for an arrest for the senator and his wife. He was then arrested at Heathrow Airport on the way back from Nigeria. I believe at the time he was travelling to Turkey and now he is facing very serious charges under Britain's Modern Slavery Act. Uh, many of the details I can't go into now but I will be updating you as this a trial does uh, continue. I believe one of the sticking issues now is jurisdiction. Is this trial going to take place in Nigeria where many of the offences occurred or is it going to be taking place in London? And now the magistrate did rule that the Attorney General must make a decision on this matter, which is why the case has been adjourned until Thursday the 7th of July at Westminster Magistrates Court. Now I do believe the Senator will be sitting in front of a magistrate, however it is very likely because of the size of Westminster Court that he could actually be sitting in front of a judge and he is facing a lengthy prison sentence if indeed the Attorney General does rule that the case can be tried in London. There are some people that would ask whether or not this case has now been escalated into a diplomatic row, considering that Ekweramadu and his wife do have a residence here. Is it not possible uh, for him to be under some sort of house arrest? Is it possible that the senator will be given some sort of diplomatic immunity? Those are really important questions, and I believe they could be answered as soon as next week, Thursday, uh, when it will be decided if uh, the senator is remanded into custody yet again or he returns to Nigeria to face the courts there. Juliana Olayinka, reporting from Channels TV News in London. <laughs>